Ladies and gentlemen, I am your host Stasis, and this is StarCraft II Fight Night, presenting a best of five Protoss versus Zerg here from the Korean Star League Weekly number 26. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, it is our Protoss player based out of South Korea and fighting for Dragon Kaizi Gaming. It is Hero. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. It is our Zerg player, also based out of South Korea. Fighting for team. Unfortunately, not able to see that. It is DRG. And DRG already starting things off uh, with the third base placements on his natural hatchery the result of a uh, roadblock there by hero very much likes to start things off aggressively with uh, a probe across the map and drg also now working on his spawning pool hero very much known for his uh, aggressive play style against zerg uh really a matchup i think he excels at We'll see if DRG has the answers here for Hero. It is a best of five, so DRG can have a little bit more opportunity here to prove himself. As I do believe now upon checking my sources here, I think DRG is currently teamless. Don't quote me on that, but that is what we, uh, Wiki. That is what Liquipedia is showing up here. So, uh, glad I just uh, abandoned that part in my intro there for him. Hero gonna open up with Stargate, gonna be his tech of choice here to get things rolling, as uh, he very much likes to, uh, to get some damage done early on with the Oracle Pressure. And Zergling speed also halfway through. Hero already sending out his first adept. Gonna shade into the natural and maybe even look for some drone kills here. Uh, and just see if there's anything he should be concerned for at the moment. Right now, not too much. Sees the spawning pool researching. Obviously going to be for Zergling speed here. And already chronoing out the first oracle is Hero. And as I mentioned earlier, Hero, most definitely the hero in this matchup uh, and in the series against DRG. Uh, so far this year, DRG only has a 25% win ratio against Hero in series, 30% in game count. They've played um, a decent amount of series here. Uh, DRG sitting at 7 wins and 21 losses here for the series count. And 23 wins and 52 losses here. For the game count. So it is on DRG here to try to uh, buck the trend here. We'll see if he's capable of doing that now. Does have enough units here to try to zone out these adepts. And that first oracle as well. Just trying to dive in, see what uh, opportunities for damage you can find. Hero already setting up, you can see, his multi prong pressure. With the Adepts, going to dive in with the Oracles, distracting DRG on the third while these Oracles dive into the main base, into the natural. No drones there, actually. So Hero not able to find as much damage as perhaps he was hoping for. Great Spore trick uh, by DRG. Is now these Oracles shifting over to the third base. Is a Spore Crawler there as well, though. May take out an Oracle, just able to save it at the final moments. Uh, is Hero there. So, so far, just a decent handful of drone kills to start things off for us. Behind this hero, going to move into Twilight, and I think he's just going to go into his tried and tested, patented Link Stalker Oracle uh, mid-game play here. 
As uh, his bread and butter here in this matchup is extremely comfortable with it, and uh, I wouldn't should be when you've uh, created the style yourself here. As just a handful of a uh, couple of units here, a couple of stalkers, a couple of oracles, will be able to uh, ward off those zerglings here. Oracles skirting around the edges. And uh, Stargate production at the moment has stopped. Hero working on plus one attack and blink. And more gateways coming as well. Look for that gateway number to really explode here. ERG is setting up his own Zergling run by. And if these Adepts get caught out, he may be able to pick those off. Does get a surround on the Adepts. So the Adepts will fall. Hero may be forced to recall the Oracles here. Um, but DRG looks like we'll back off just as he sees the warping of Stalkers. And now Hero, uh, as he gets this Stalker count higher and higher, he's going to start working on his pressure style here. Going to pick a base to pressure onto and uh, really force DRG to uh, use the Speedlings here. Maybe get some Banelings as well. Hero this time finally does have a unit in the wall, but uh, Adept will fall. DRG actually going to be able to stream in here and get some probe kills. Does force Hero to go back home uh, with some of his stalkers, some of his oracles, and uh, will delay Hero's attack here for the time. Hero was just about to gear up for his own attack on DRG's top corner base here now. With the troubles at home taken care of, Hero going to be able to warp in. Big warping of Stalkers are going to be more than enough for these Zerglings here, especially once these Oracles come into play. That is a slow pylon, I did just now realize. Uh, but Hero is completely fine with that. He just needs units warping in. And now we get the pressure going here. Stalker is going to use their Blink to just get as much value as they can. And the Oracles in the back uh, haven't placed their Stasis Traps down just yet. Hero may just be saving the energy for the Zerglings here. Uh, or again, may rely on Stasis Traps here. DRG, not so much relying on the Lings right now. It does have some Ravagers morphing in. Uh, we do have more Lings in the pipeline here, and now Hero is getting charged as well. Link Micro is there for Hero. Again, just trying to knock on the front door of this four base here. DRG doing a good job utilizing this choke point here. Hero, uh, very much aware of that, does not like it. We'll take down the rocks. DRG, though, going to stream in. No, he will not, as Hero, at the last moment, able to warp in and block this access point off. And we'll continue to pressure onto that fourth base here. At the same time, Oracle's angling into the natural base here, looking to get some kills, but DRG is actually powering forward against these Stalkers here. And Hero forced to back off usually has the oracles with him and usually has stasis traps behind as a sort of uh, safety net for these stalkers here but this time just opting to split the oracles off trying to get some damage of their own uh, weren't able to get too much done though as the defense here for drg in the natural base uh, was adequate i don't think these oracles were able to get uh, any amount of kills that one has 12 the other one i think has six Oh, and we are just waiting for Light VIP. Now, unfortunately, that is Light VIP exiting stage left here. As we are going to continue on uh, in this micro battle here between the Stalkers and the Zerglings of DRG. DRG, though, setting up our surrounds here. These Stalkers blinking backwards into more Zerglings. And Hero going to get all of these Stalkers trapped here. Used up his blink and going to lose so much army supply. Hero. Finally has another blink here, but all of these stalkers get picked off. DRG with the amazing surround cleans up Hero's entire army. At the same time, Hero has another army moving forward on this top right hand base. So DRG, while winning there, will lose that base here. Doesn't matter though, he's going to continue forward into the third base of Hero. Hero does have some units here to defend and actually will force a recall here. So DRG will be forced to back off both of these players, trading uh, very decisively here. Another stream in though for DRG as more Zerglings are at the fourth base of Hero. And Hero again, he took an extremely bad trade in the middle of the map. So he's going to be down in army supply. He will be on the back foot here. Or at least you would expect him to as these Oracles are also on the other side of the map. Getting some free drone kills here as there's not adequate anti-air defense on that forward third base here for DRG. 
PRG though continuing to power forward into this corner base of Hero. Has the Ravager count, has the Zergling count as well. And the Biles are also coming down. Hero again between a rock and a hard place here back against the wall trying to desperately save this base from the onslaught of the Ra Ravagers and Roaches. When these Oracles run out of energy, things will get much more difficult here for Hero as he continues to dump army supply and DRG looking like he wants to take game number one in this best of five. DRG does so. And we are underway here for game number two in this best of five PVZ between Hero and DRG. DRG with the phenomenal 500 IQ surround there, catching Hero's stalkers as Hero was uh, in the middle of the map, getting his Blink Stalker Oracle pressure going. And things were going relatively well. Uh, but Hero uh, blinked backwards to escape the forward Zerglings of DRG and blinked right into the hands of the surrounding Zerglings from behind. From there, DRG able to clear up the rest of, of Hero Stalkers and uh, force the win there. This Hero again blocking off the natural hatchery. Hero, excuse me, DRG uh, securing his third base location instead. He is just taking one gas, and the Overlord is moving across the map as well. Hero continuing to be annoying with the mineral harassment here of the probe, and DRG is sick of it. Just dispatches a singular drone here to uh, keep tabs on that probe. Previous game showing the important the importance of a uh, vision for a hero. Normally, not one to make those kinds of mistakes, but normally to be fair as well, he does have stasis traps behind his stalkers as again a sort of safety net. That previous match, he was not. Uh, I don't think he placed a single stasis trap. Instead, wanting to use the oracles to uh, wanting to split them off on their own and try to get some double pronged action going. Uh, maybe wanting to split DRG's attention, and in that way he would find uh, an opening, find a victory there. But again, Hero ran the risk of uh, not having some stasis traps behind his main army. You can't help but think if there were a couple, maybe even just one, his stalkers would not have been engulfed there. Again, Hero opening up with another Stargate and DRG halfway through his Zergling speed as well. Already with the first Adept across the map. Nice little Spore Trick and Hero going to dive back into the natural base here. And just continue to be in DRG's face. Overlord for DRG will confirm that there is a Stargate. And I think also able to tell that there is an Oracle being produced as well. I don't think DRG is all too surprised by that though. As uh, so far it does look like Hero. Bidding to the same style as the previous match. Again continuing to produce Stalkers. And uh, has a second Oracle on the way as well. DRG, though, already sending some Zerglings across the map. Um, we'll face an Oracle here, wanting to secure that third base location. In fact, Hero opting to go for the other location here. Um, so DRG actually has not even scouted that location really yet. These two oracles continue to dive in, try to look for some opportunities here for some damage. Trying to juke out DRG uh, with the oracle movement. Hero behind this again, Twilight. And I do believe we'll be going into 
Some more Blink Stalker Oracle action here. We do have a rob robotics facility uh, being produced. And an additional few more gateways as well. And actually, charge will be the first choice out of the Twilight as well. So, Hero looking for a charge timing, it looks like. He does already have two gateways, three more on the way. Likely will be moving up to five or six as Hero. And again, we'll be doubly dangerous here as Hero. Actually, right now, I love the, uh, the mind games here. Right now, just has a Stalker. And a few adepts. Nothing to indicate uh, that he wants to go charge lots here. By that I mean no, no zealots on the map just yet. And again, at its face, it looks quite similar to what Hero normally does. But uh, that's where he gets you. That's where uh, the disguise comes in. And uh, if DRG is not fully prepared... These charge lots could end up doing a lot of damage. This warp prism now, after warping in, four charge lots will be moving across the map. DRG again just has Zerglings here. Zergling speed is finished, and the Roach Warren will finish up right now as well. So if DRG can get some roaches out on the map, uh, he may be able to hold here. Hero is warping in, and DRG now going to get a scout off on exactly what Hero wants to do here. And Hero powering through, going to dive right into the heart of DRG's base here. Does get the wall off at the last minute. Does capture two queens, does Hero. Queens in the back, though, going to be more than enough to hold off the assault here. Adepts shading into the main base. No, they won't. Hero committing to the third base here. Another warp in. Uh, may just be enough. Great stasis trap on those workers. They will be vulnerable. Uh, once they escape that stasis trap, DRG on the defensive here. Again, does have a wall off in his natural and does have speedlings working on some roaches is DRG. Once these roaches come into play, uh, this attack will definitely be stunted. Hero maybe trying to snipe down the third base here, uh, but actually content with getting decent trades here against DRG's army. It is just these queens. Now we do have the roaches coming into play. Roaches coming in from behind. They do get stasis though. And Hero actually continues to power forward. Maybe another warp in may just be able to seal things for him. And there we, we do see that warp in. 16 drones have fallen for DRG. Uh, but Hero's army is slowly but surely getting cleaned up here. It's just down to such small numbers as these zealots continue to power forward. That's going to be it though. DRG forced to tap out and Hero will take game number two. And we are loaded in to game number three in this best of five PVZ hero and DRG facing off against each other. Both tied up one to one. And uh, it was the crisp charge lot timing that was key for hero to secure the win in the previous game. He did it in all of uh, what was it? Six minutes, I believe. Don't quote me on that number here. Hero again. Third time in a row. Going to force the third base placement for the natural hatchery here for DRG. Doesn't seem too bothered by it. Again, at this point, I don't think many Zerks <laughs> um, can be fussed about it. It's just a fact of life. Something that you have to accept here. As uh, Hero does have a single gas ready. And likely will be taking his natural base very shortly here. Overlord already moving across the map as well. see what hero will go with in this third match as well as uh well he's more than capable of really doing it all here first two games have always been started off with a stargate and uh that may just be a start every match here is the stargate just gives uh, so much useful map presence scouting and harassment and it isn't too much of a serious investment in the beginning um Getting those two for those first two oracles, uh, not too big of an investment that it slows down the rest of your tech progression, as we see here. Hero will opt for the Stargate again, 
and some adepts as well just to establish that map presence get some vision and maybe a couple drone kills here or there as well Adept confirming the third base. And uh, just juking and jiving between the third and the second base here. It's going to be a Void Ray first for Hero, uh, interestingly here. More than likely wants to get some Overlord kills here. And clear the map a little bit of DRG's vision. The depth does dive into the third base here. Has it gotten any excuse me, any drone kills here? Just the one. But I think already one more than uh the previous game at this same time. As that void ray does make its presence known. And a hero immediately moving into an oracle. And again, just trying to completely clear the map uh, of DRG's presence as Hero. So far, able to easily do so with uh, just a singular Void Ray and a singular Adept. Second Oracle is on the way for Hero. DRG already mining from his third base up to 41 drones. And it looks like the droning uh, is continuing. Maybe stopping in a little bit here. Zerglings do pick up a singular adept. Three more are coming in though. Twilight Forge on the way for Hero. Will we see some Glaive actions in this match? Some Glaive's action in this match as these adepts getting a decent handful of drone kills here before getting cleaned up completely by the Lings. Nine drones so far is the tally and these oracles also trying to dive in here. Three kills for both. And uh, ten drones so far this game. Three links and an overlord. Not a bad trade at all for Hero. As he is getting his third base established here. And again, going for charge this game. With plus one attack on the way as well. Uh, are we going to see another charge timing here? Again, I like the mind games. DRG possibly thinking, surely he's not going to go for the same attack two games in a row. And I think helping that fact as well is the fact that Hero opened up uh, with a Void Ray. It doesn't really have much of an impact on the build itself. Um, but again, it is a difference. It is a change up uh, from what DRG has been seeing in these previous two matches. Behind this hero, dropping the Templar Archives and a Robotics Bay here. Able to just barely save that Oracle at the end there. One HP, literally. DRG trying to get an opening here with these Zerglings. Will be forded off. Really not a bad idea at all to just check the door occasionally here for hero as he's known. To leave it wide open sometimes just relying on the reactionary war bins to either block or to defend uh, once lings do break through here the rg a little bit unsettled by the fact he can't see into hero's base again the void ray able to shut down any scouting here as this uh war person moves into the natural base with a little four uh, uh four zealot drop here actually grabbing a queen will they grab a second one I don't believe so, as now these links finally do get the surround on the main ramp here. And DRG sees charge is done. And no roaches being made here. Instead, we have a spire here. So some mutas going to be the response here for DRG. And Hero, uh, I have seen him lose games to surprise mutas here before. Especially with uh, a decent handful of charge lots occupying the supply in Hero's army. That's just... 
that many less units that can shoot up and really uh, deal damage against Mutas. But Hero gonna move forward, not gonna let these Mutas, uh, uh, give the Mutas a chance to pop out just yet. Single Disruptor Shot does move forward, damages the Queens there. Two Archons gonna get picked up in the War Prism. Baneling connections are there, but it's not enough. And Hero cleans things up in game number three. And we are underway here for match point in this best of five series between Hero and DRG. Hero up two games to one. In the previous match, the Archon charge lot timing onto the third base of DRG was uh, more than enough to steamroll through and secure the win in game three there for Hero. So the timing attacks, two games in a row, uh, able to find the money there for Hero. But we see a third type of timing attack here. Maybe some Adept Glaives. Or will, is Hero feeling confident enough uh, or rather relaxed enough to let things drag on a little bit more here and force DRG to come to him. As notably, Hero not going for the hat ray block, taking a little bit of pity on DRG perhaps, letting DRG place that natural hat ray down. And uh, instead opting to keep all of his workers at home just to gain that little bit of extra mineral income. Only two workers on the gas here, and the natural base is dropped as well for Hero. Two overlords already on their way to Hero's side of the map for DRG. As the natural hatchery will be finishing up just a few moments here. Cybercore has finished, and notably, Hero again opting, uh, well, not again, but this time opting for the Twilight Council first. Um, so no Stargate here. And things do seem to be opening up a little differently from the previous three matches that we've already seen in this series. Third base has been plopped down here for DRG. Zergling speed is on the way. A robotics facility also on the way here for Hero. I think I'm sniffing another timing attack here from Hero, and lo and behold, it is going to be Adept Glaives here. I was wondering when we would see Adept Glaives in this matchup, and uh, Hero was just saving it for the grand finale. Let's see if DRG gonna have the units here to defend. Roach Warren would be nice to help out with this. Uh, of course, it is not the only means to defend uh, an Adept Glaives. But I think certainly the most straightforward and uh, perhaps the easiest, quote unquote. The RG sees uh, no probe around here, not even a unit to secure a third base location. So already may suspect that something is coming his way as Hero again. Remaining on two bases, sending out the first two adepts across the map. Has four more gateways in the production tab here. Uh, so we'll be able to warp in more adepts across the map. As the warp prism, again, will be uh, safely tucked away behind enemy lines. And I think DRG already knows it is going to be Glaives as he is just seeing the adepts. No third base. Adepts will shade into the third base of DRG. We'll deny mining there a little bit. Nice little pick up there from the War Prism. Two more gateways on the way. I think that moves us up to six gates here, which is a perfect amount you want to have 
this type of attack here. RG moving across the map with these Zerglings trying to catch the Adepts, but the Adepts give them a slip around there with their Shades here, trying to take a fight with the Queen as hero. DRG able to save it at the last minute. And uh, as this Adept count grows, things are going to get a little dicey here for DRG. Morphing in Banelings already is DRG, so if he gets the connections, if he gets the surrounds as well, uh, may be able to hold on to the defense here. Four Adepts falling there. Hero does cancel the Shades. And uh, we do have the Banelings coming in as well. These Adepts want to back off, want to target fire. Nice pickups there from Hero. Stalker tanks a few uh, uh, Baneling shots there, which is great for Hero. More Warpins coming in. And DRG desperately trying to morph in some more Banelings here. Also working on the links. Does have link speed, uh, which will help him out. Pulling away with the Queen is DRG. Will we complete the shade here? Hero opting instead to target the third base. Diving forward. I like the surround, though, from DRG. Will we see a repeat of the first game here where the clutch surround was there for DRG? Catching nearly every single adept is DRG. Hero forced to warp into the main base, but his adept count has been severely shaved off here. Uh, that little move out on the third base costing Hero again just with the links around there. And Hero also not able to grab too many workers. Only three so far, and for a commitment as large as this, uh, you want to have more worker kills. More links have died, which, uh, you know, is a positive there. Uh, but Hero gonna send it another warp, and this time it's gonna be DTs. I did not even see the Dark Shrine follow-up uh, going a little bit a la Max Packs here. Does DRG have detection? He does not. He's working on spores. Uh, so for the time being, these Arc Templar are gonna work on blasting down the natural hatch right here. Uh, these Banelings completely obliterate the two Dark Templar here. And I think with some transfuses, this main base should be safe here. But DRG uh, just doesn't have the numbers, it looks like. We'll be tapping out here.